project cycle for continuous improvement. Establish a management routine for employees to improve their processes. This presentation is about describing the continual process of managing improvement projects. It is based on a typical Six Sigma review cycle, where the project leader presents the project status to a management team. It is developed onto team page and is called the Continuous Improvement Project Solution. Project management happens on team page. A more detailed presentation is available on team page to introduce the solution along with the standard documentation. Let's define the roles and responsibilities of the players. The project sponsor is a senior leader with budgetary authority. She will approve and often initiate improvement projects for processes under her responsibility. A project leader both leads the project team and manages the process of meeting the project objectives. In the context of MP, employees are given the opportunity to lead continuous improvement projects as a means to be transformed into process thinking leaders. A project member is a process stakeholder, a person who will make a meaningful contribution to the management of the project. Project teams are often cross-functional as most processes span over different departments. A subject matter expert has the skills necessary to complete or add value to the project as she has an in-depth knowledge on the process being improved. The team page server administrator assists in configuring spaces or plugins when a workflow demands it. Let's look at management cycles. Projects should be cut for a two to four month cycle. This is because short projects are less risky than protracted ones. We need to simplify projects, especially for beginners. Short projects enable more project cycles. We learn more with more projects, as learning comes through repetition. The more we learn, the more we improve. Projects are reviewed every two weeks. The reviews are deadlines that trigger action. The prospect of being accountable does wonders to make people close tasks. If a project is reviewed twice a month, more work is done than if the project is reviewed once a month. It's the deadline that forces people to work, not the amount of time given to them to perform an action. Leaders and sponsors need to meet in weekly intervals in order to address issues before the project review. Weekly FaceTimes are short meetings that enable the project to stay on track. This way, the project leader doesn't disclose unpleasant surprises to her sponsor in front of her colleagues at the project review. There are three phases in the life cycle of a project. Phase one is the identification of an improvement opportunity. Phase two is the prioritization of improvement opportunities and the selection of improvement projects. And phase three is the realization of the project. In phase one, we identify different sources for improvement opportunities. They come in many different shapes and forms at random times. Key performance indicators can directly feed into improvement opportunities when there is no problem to solve. 5S visual management projects and 7 wastes elimination projects can feed the improvement opportunity hopper. External and internal customer non-conformances, strategic decisions or outcomes of the long-range planning also create improvement opportunities. Problems that cannot be solved using conventional problem-solving methods also feed into the hopper. What the improvement opportunities have in common is that they all intend to improve operational factors of risk, quality, speed, cost, and people engagement and development. And they potentially contribute to driving the organization towards attaining its breakthrough objectives. This is why they need to be prioritized. In phase two, which is the improvement selection phase, the improvement opportunities are prioritized based on their merit. The figure of merit is calculated with seven factors such as alignment to business objectives, impact of the project, its complexity, etc. When a project leader is available to take on a new project, a high priority improvement opportunity will be allocated to her based on her expertise, project experience, and role in the organization. The improvement opportunity becomes an improvement project. In phase three, 
The first step is to choose the right project template based on the project. Running of the project kickstarts two management routines in step two. The weekly FaceTime between the project sponsor and leader and the twice monthly project review with the leadership team. A project is only completed in step three when the process has been standardized, the people have been trained and deemed competent to run the improved process, activity or task, and when the operational benefits are realized, that is, improvement in risk, quality, speed, cost, and people engagement and development. When the project leader is finished, she is ready to take on another project. The practice of the CR project cycle develops a routine of personal transformation for the project players. They get into the habit of change. As the organization journeys towards its breakthrough objectives, it builds profound knowledge.